Hi guys, Tracy here. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I know the last episode was silent. My mic audio seems to be working a lot better. We're in a winter storm warning, so, you know, if... A man if... has not discovered oh something he will die for. He's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Um, <laughs> as I was trying to say, um, my mic audio is working a lot better. We're in a winter storm warning. So, if my audio is still a little choppy, I do apologize. Hopefully you guys had a good Valentine's Day. Um, in the last episode, we experienced a loss, so if you want to see that, go check out last episode. Without further ado, let's jump right back in. All right, end of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Come on, Alice. Wake up. We have to go. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Find somewhere to spend the night. Yeah, let's go. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Twenty four hours special, then why are you closed? I'm assuming all those red things mean that they're closed. I have money for that. That's an option. I doubt they're gonna help me because I'm an android. So let's not. Oh shit, I'm just doing this crosswalk, aren't I? Whoops. Where was that place? I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. 
I know someone who can help you. Thank you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. That's not an option. Okay then. Is this what I wanted? Rocket man, let's go. Easy. That's all I'm looking for tonight. Wait, could you don't walk away from me. Look, see? We'll be fine. You wanna go in there? Huh? <laughs> nope. He looks abandoned. Oh, we gotta break it like that? Stand back, Alice. It's on a better way. Okay. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. See, that's all that matters. I want to sleep in there. Oh, wait, don't Can have we a choice. Find a better place. Oh. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. I'm an android, and we have no money. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, I thought... Oh, no man, no man. Can I make myself warm? Like a little hot seat? You know, a little android heater? Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. We're definitely going to continue on. Because that one ended really fast. Oh. So we could have gone across town. Okay. That would have been cool. See, that's not too bad of an ending. We did great. It's fine. Oh god, what is this? Oh god. Oh! Okay.
Christ. Didn't like the way I look. Oh, the audio, the audio. Oh, it's giving me chills. It's a little stubby. Okay. Will do. Oh. Okay. It's like zombie androids. Like the little crawlers and the original Black Ops. God damn, I love that game. Alright, bet. Oh. Look at this pop out. Look at that. Good thing androids can't feel any of this shit, right? Look at that. Just snaps back in, plugs. So like, you know how he has like skin? Well, it's not real skin. Does it like just grow back over these parts? Okay, I can't use that one. Just gonna yod it? Okay. Oh, this guy is still blue. Like, can it, the skin just grow back over the leg part? I feel like it should be able to. Oh, he's sitting there alive too. Look at that guy, ew. Touching me. Oh. Just yo in them like that. I don't like the way that one looks. I really don't like this. What about this guy? He's still moving. Look at them all just squirming. Oh, buddy, stop! Pop off! Look at the legs! Look at the fucking legs! Can I kick him? Can I kick him? I wanna watch him tip. 
<laughs> Legos. See you again. I'm liking the two different colored eyes. Yeah, I get scan again. All right, but we're both going right there. if you don't mind. Thank you. Holy Christ, that is cool. Wow, okay, that is also very loud. Bet. Bet. Uh, uh, look at it walk. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Oh, I gotta move mine. You want this, buddy? You can have it. I don't need it anymore. Just like guilted inside myself. I don't like the way he's twitching. Okay. Oh. Well, I'll do. Okay. That's that's what I want. That's what. Okay. Um. Excuse me, I'm just gonna start climbing. God, the music is so good! grabbing oh but like what does this little thing do for me like you know I'm just about to like yeet it off does it just tell people like I'm an android or does it have like 
like how I scan shit. Like, does it do any of me? Or is it just there to like label me as an android? You feel me, guys? You probably don't. Well, that was quite the episode. Okay. Okay. Our part searching went pretty well. I don't like how that guy jump scared me, though. We climbed the slope and we made it out from the dead. Which, I mean, is the best possible thing to happen, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing good. Maybe I'm doing terrible. I have no f***ing clue. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. CyberLife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? Great. Let's start. Would you consider having a relationship with an android that looks like a human? Do you think that technology could become a threat to mankind? If you had to live on a deserted island and could only bring one object, what would it be? Do you consider yourself dependent on technology? What technology do you most anticipate? Do you believe in God? Would you let an android take care of your children? How much time per day would you say you spend on an electronic device? If you needed emergency surgery, would you agree to be operated on by a machine? Do you think one day machines could develop consciousness?